my dear Virgo, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of July with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And I hope you like the new Cancer display to celebrate Cancer's birthday month. Uh, as an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all signs reading up, the message I don't want to hear but needs to hear for the full members to this channel and the steps to move myself into a loving relationship is up for all the members where we reveal what message does comes true from the divine. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for June to get a context. And this is the prediction for July. I will start reading your cards and I use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And when I open your deck here, I see the Two of Swords together with Justice. This is kind of Libra, Libra energy, double Libra. So to be fair, some, some things needs to be settled to be fair or you need to be fair to yourself if no one else is fair to you but we'll see what's going on uh, I call the divine with love and light and here we have the eight of swords together with two of swords so I'm getting you are dealing with a person um, that is um angle with you uh but it's kind of unfair <laughs> because i feel like this person has been a little bit self-destructive or refusing to see the truth about a certain situation their own behavior or what needed to be solved in this relationship but now they are upset with you and i think also upset with themselves so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have three of cups together with the two of swords. Three of cups. So what are they doing here? This is the witches. Um, modern witch tarot. Modern witch tarot. Okay, upside down. Seven of cups and six of cups. Hmm. Okay. So this person is both angry with you, upset with you, but also missing you. Three of Cups. They miss the happy times that you had together, uh, the nice things you did to them. and uh, But they're upset. Um, and uh, I'm not sure that it's something that you did. It might be rather something that you didn't do. Okay. So... Um, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. Knight of Cups, Two of Swords. You didn't do it. They waited for something. Uh, they might even have waited for uh, you to kind of uh, continue the unbalanced energy between you two. That maybe they felt celebrated in the relationship in some way. And then you said, ah, to hell with it. Two of Swords, I will ignore this situation because this isn't going anywhere. And then they got upset with you. I felt this, that I'm angry with you, but it's uh, not fair that I'm angry with you. But I'm angry with you because you should have, you know, continue our pattern or you should have uh, continue honoring how much you loved me or adored me or respected me or wanted me. And then you didn't. And now I have to be the one reaching out to you. And I don't want to. Okay, so I don't want to. I call the six elements. And here we have three of swords with the two of swords. So I don't want to. And you don't want to. So both people, or at least this person, is heartbroken by this situation. Um, because they want to keep... Um, they probably want to look like a person that, you know, has a lot of options, stay with you, maybe, you know, to just waste time or <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But it's a little bit as if they didn't really choose you, but they wanted you to choose them over and over and over again. And then you didn't. 
and that was fair they know that's fair but um, it kind of also broke their heart that you ignore them like that okay so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear virgo viewers so i want my dear virgo to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships three of wands magician someone wants to communicate here so um okay so virgo i will tune in for a few seconds to you the person most on your mind and your relationship in july okay This is the new bottom of the deck and it's eight of wands. If someone wants to, you know, the, the former position was the eight of swords. They didn't want to do anything because of what they would lose if they did something. They didn't want to lose the dynamic, probably an unfair dynamic between you two by being the one reaching out. But here we're seeing an energy of reaching out, clarification. And um, since I felt and this person said that you were the two of swords, even if they are the Libra in this case, you are the two of swords. You are the one that decide, okay, enough is enough. And they realize that, yeah, uh, that was probably fair, but it's unfair to me that wants this special treatment. Okay, <laughs> so, and this is the old bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. I'm special. I want this special treatment. I'm selected. Um, so it's just like a little seed that wants to know that it's extra special so it will feel like there's some purpose with their life or um that they don't have to feel totally insignificant in this world or i don't know they want to be kind of celebrated and see seen like extra special so this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind and this is the situation with that person this is what's on their mind with you your feelings the bond between you two and their feelings. This is your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for July, and this is their behaviors and attitudes. So situation, Empress. Well, what can I say? You are, you know, you are, you are really hot and you're really uh, a person with so much uh, to give, so much to offer, so much capacity. And this is number three. We also saw the three of cups, three of swords. This person is truly suffering without uh, all that you have to give them. Or they feel the dread that they will lose this if they are not getting more fair to you. Maybe you're still together, but they are not acting fair to you in some way. And they know this and they want to keep their benefit. And they're getting irritated with you for asking for more. But in the same time, they realize the fairness of it. It's just that the old um, settle, like <laughs> settlement or the old uh, situation or the dynamic between you, it gave them something that they felt like they needed. Here is the star card. And I'm thinking about the two of swords and the peace of mind that I felt with the two of swords. So I think you are trying to heal yourself and... Uh, you're focusing on you here and your own health and your own healing. And if this person, you know, comes to you in time or opens their eyes in time, also nice. Uh, but this card is also connected to the strength card. Uh, so if they don't develop or they don't see that you are a person too that needs to be respected too, well, uh, you will be all right. So you are seeing too that you will be all right. You are taking care of yourself. And this is what's on their mind. They want to be the one being offered stuff from you that they can say no to. Because that makes them, you know, feel like they are a person with many options. And they can turn people down and, uh, you know, act like they don't matter or that they are not important. 
and then the other person will make them feel important. So this is some kind of survival technique of theirs to get emotional fulfillment being kind of chased by down the road or people doing this whistle after them. They need that kind of little bit shallow uh, confirmation. And um, so they're playing hard to get uh, because they want to be treated like this extra special person. So rare, so selected. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so this is the bond between you two. This is the Six of Cups again. And I feel like you have been the one repairing this relationship in, in many different situations. And they want to come, they want to sulk in their corner and that you should come and repair it again. But I think you are more focused, you have your back turned towards this situation. I think you're more focused on repairing yourself and, um, you know, taking care of your stuff because you gave, you tried, you probably did a lot to try to make this person feel comfortable, feel liked, loved, uh, valued, appreciated, but it never came to that, that um, uh, situation where you were able to feel the same in the relationship. And that's what got you tired, like sick and tired of this situation eventually. That doesn't mean that you have stopped loving them. We have the sun card here. So sun and the stars. We can't really deny that you feel like this person is the one person for you. And this is the sun card. It's the holy matrimony. Uh, so you love them, but this is how you are approaching them like a naked child. And you want them to do that too, but they are more like this child that needs special treatment. Or in other case, it's going to, I don't know, you know, stomp like this or do something even worse. <laughs> okay, uh, this is their feelings. Another seven. Uh, they are intellectualizing this situation and trying to see what they can get out of the situation. So even if they move towards you... Um, you know, they have their look on whatever other options or who else will celebrate me, who else needs me. It's like they need to go, it doesn't have to be to different, uh, you know, romantic relationship. Maybe they need to go to their friends and see, oh, my friends adore me. And then they need to go to their relatives and see, oh, they adore me. They need me. They want me to be here. I'm celebrated. And, and then uh, they go to you and they are celebrated there as well. <sighs> What's so special with this person that everyone feel the needs to, you know, shower them with goods and glory? Eight of wands, seven of wands. Hmm. I think when they are together with a person, they're probably very easygoing and go along with what's on the menu today. Um, they don't have a really plan maybe for themselves. They might be a little bit like a chameleon that's melting in uh, pretty much everywhere. But um, then they also have these high boundaries that they let. They go to a person, they go along with whatever that person wants, needs. Uh, oh, so for example, let's say you want to see a certain movie or eat a certain type of meal. They're probably going to be very charming and, and humor you and let you have your way. But they're not going to go deeper than that. Then there's a block there. They're not going to uh, allow more. So it makes them special because there's not a much of them. When they come, they're nice, but they want, don't want to stay or they don't want to stick around or they, it comes to a limit where they just stop giving. So first it's like love bombing and then it's like ghosting almost, but it's not really ghosting. It's like saying, no, I have other plans. I can't meet up with you. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Uh, and I think it might be because the person is giving a little bit too much of themselves in the actual situation when they are with a person uh, so that they will be loved and treated as extra special. And then they get tired and they don't want to do it for a very long time. And also they like to get it from, you know, different people. So seven of cups, seven of wands, seven of swords, seven are spiritual challenges. It's this person has like an idea of how life needs to be for them. And they need to manipulate people around them to go along with this. So it's probably very 
painstaking and <laughs> heartbreaking and you know backbreaking because it must be pretty tiresome to keep track of how you need to manipulate this person and that person and not like give enough but not too much so that people will continue thinking that um, you are extra special uh, it seems not authentic and everything that's authentic that's not authentic when we are playing a game it's exhausting because it takes a lot of energy to remember all these things so while this person doesn't seem particularly genuine, you come off with this major arcana cards that make you look very genuine and very invested, like wholeheartedly, soul and everything. And then you are met with this unfairness where this person is just, <sighs> it's just playing this game. Okay, this is your behaviors and attitudes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and we have already seen that it's like you adapted to their behavior. Uh, seven of wands seven of wands you have learned to put boundaries too enough is enough you have a lot to give but why give it to someone that doesn't give anything back or not enough at least they give when they are there or like occasionally but then you know they look elsewhere for um, where to go or what to do so and uh, this is their behaviors and attitudes so now they are heartbroken and this was because you were acting like them, um, two of swords, and you want a justice now. You say, you're not welcome here uh, until you give me justice. And this person, they can't do anything but playing this game. So then they can't like get what they need to get from you. And that makes them heartbroken. So, uh, so they're angry with you for putting totally normal demands on a relationship because they want this special setup, okay? Oh, so um, clarification there for what you are supposed to do in this situation. Hanged a one, <laughs> not do much at all. Temperance, you're taking in your shadow. This is connected to the Empress, it's 12, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So it just says that you have taken a stand, uh, you have decided that enough is enough. So now you need to keep yourself kind of stubborn in that position, even if it's, you know, it's painful for you too. Uh, this is also 3. <laughs> so uh, it's a sacrifice that you are doing so you can obtain respect, at least from yourself. And then we have the temperance card. This is you taking in your shadow. They are your shadow. What they do is what you need to learn. What you do is what they need to learn. They need to learn to be, you know, open-heartedly, authentic, uh, devoted to a situation with their whole heart and soul. Um, that is not happening for the moment. Um, okay, so outcome here, devil. The devil, yes. Um, well, this person is playing this game. They are addicted to this game. It's like a drug to them. And it's like they are vampire on you, sucking you blood dry. But you have decided, no, no more vampires uh, in my bedroom uh, or in my dormant <laughs> or in my hallway or anywhere. Um, I'm going to take in my opposite side, which is strength and self-respect and boundaries. This person has boundaries. They say, oh, I will give you all these things and then I will, you know, stop giving because that's what I decide. And you can do whatever you want. Scream, kick. I won't give it to you because I'm wild and free. <laughs> so, and now you are wild and free as well. But the relationship is still like an addiction, possibly for both of you. We'll see here with a wisdom of the hidden realms the queen of light in reversed illumination enlightenment celebration i think both of you know knows what needs to be done but you have a hard time doing it you're fighting here seven of wands that's good self-respect deciding you know it's like dua lipa's new rules <laughs> don't let this person in because you know you're going to have to kick them out again uh, when they start to behave like this so you behave like this from the get-go. It's like you are not welcome. Uh, but you you still have to fight yourself on this. 
it's like you need to sacrifice the part of you that wants to give all this love and it's painful but that means taking in your opposite side um, and starting to do the things that you didn't dare to do before so from my point of view it seems as if you are not dancing with the devil anymore and you're actually starting to integrate um, your own fears so you don't you're not scared of the dark <laughs> you're not scared of the devil um, you're sad uh, hangman I think feel a correlation to the three of swords uh, so as well as you need to say no to this person you're sad that you need to say no to this person because you would want to say yes but since they are in the way they are and manipulating you in the way they are manipulating you it doesn't feel like a good idea. So you say no to the devil here. And they are the devil because they are playing this game. And they are doing so self-destructively. It's like their drug. They are addicted to it. And you have been the supply of this drug. Uh, but you refuse to give it anymore. Uh, so I'm seeing them being faced with their own addiction. It's very likely that they will find possibly someone else that can be, you know, their new... Um, addiction prison wave okay self-sabotage poverty consciousness I don't think it's so easy for them to exchange you as they might have thought with this two uh, seven of swords seven of cups maybe their heart gets in the way it say no stubbornly it say no I love this person I want to be with this person if you are going to continue this uh, stupid game I'm going to give you a lot of pain <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing for this person. They will not be able to continue just finding someone else. It's um, they still want to go to all these other people and get you know their what they they need, uh, but it's still not you know it. It's like they can get you know the everyday drug, but they can't get the drug that still g gives them the high. Uh, so therefore, um, they they start to feel very sorry for themselves. And um, this is, of course, all a uh, setup for them to avoid pain. And now they are smack in the midst of pain. Uh, so we saw a lot of cards with communication. I haven't seen this uh, at all here. I'm seeing you are saying, no, uh, thank you. The door is closed. Shop is closed. Go elsewhere to find what you need. Um but it's possible that this will come in the future. We have the eight of wands here, but this will rather them engaging people and then disengaging. So they might be like they call you out of the blue, wants to come over, wants to make it right. But you will be sure that the seven of wands will show up uh, like yeah, as quick as they come through the door or, you know, a few hours later or a week later. Um so they will just try to hook you up again uh, and, and then deny you uh, again and again. So therefore, the Dua Lipa song, uh, New Rules, fits this situation and is great as advice. You know, keep yourself aware. Don't fall asleep. Don't lose your illumination. Don't lose your enlightenment, your awareness, your consciousness. Uh, know that this they are dragging you. You are kind of a codependent to what they are dragging you into again and again. And you want them, like your soul wants their soul, but their soul isn't available. Uh, their ego is available, but that's not the part of them that um, um, you can sh you can you can't share yourself and your insight to their ego. The ego is like a, a plaster outside the, their soul, and their soul is um, you know it's a vacant sign or it's <laughs> it's somewhere in there, but uh, I don't know where. Um, the heart is uh, the connection to the soul and the heart says I'm going to give you pain because you're acting out of your ego so I'm going to give you pain 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 all the way until you embrace your soul and that's kind of what you want to do so their broken heart and you seems to team up a little bit but who knows where this will go uh, the most likely scenario is that this person will be like this for the rest of their life and they're and they will be depressed and full of pain and can't figure out why because they're not going to the therapist or healing themselves or staying with the pain like like we normally should do if we want to heal and you know become happier <laughs> so uh, it's very likely that they will be this person still when they are um, you know when they are going to their grave 
and um, you have capacity to give and receive love in abundance uh, you just need to figure out why you want it from this person why is it such a big sacrifice to give up exactly this person uh, we have a little clue here it's the sun and the temperance card the alchemic wedding the holy matrimony six of cups you probably have some ancient connection they might have done you like this for 10,000 years or more and the question is when will you say no for real it seems as if you are able to here um, but I believe it when I see it <laughs> okay the best for you is to realize that you're for some reason engaging yourself with a non-authentic person with the devil it's not the devil literally it's just like a person that's their shadow they just act from their shadow all the time and um, you need to uh, to see why you're so attracted to a person that shows their shadow so much are you showing too much light is it it are you always trying to be good always trying to be nice maybe you need to become a little bit more feisty okay seven of wands that's leo um, or marsh going into leo so it's a war it's defense it's standing up for oneself i would urge you virgo to watch the reading what do they want to happen between you and the love reading for june to learn more about this relationship and if you want to see new and exclusive readings from me and watch the channel normal reading in advance and ads free you can become an extended member to the channel I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal questions readings for elements readings and all signs readings for the full members. Just this week it should be a good idea for you to become a full member because we have the message I don't want to hear but needs to hear which is all it's all about the shadow and it's the 12 star signs and their shadow so you can understand a little bit more what is going on and why and what it is that you need to integrate and um, what it is that you need to become and sometimes it can be the opposite of what the the whole reading is suggesting you need to know yourself through your own intuition which side of things the shadow or the light <laughs> that's uh, the thing you haven't been able to integrate so um subscribe and check out the different levels through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership and thank you for watching this far remember to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a heads up when a new video is out take really good care until next time stay awake stay healthy stay blessed bye for now